Arcadia took its name from the Garden of the Gods in Greek mythology. Some of the best land in North America is found here, so fertile that the Acadians have never suffered epidemics of scurvy, typhus, or cholera. But they live on a continental fault line, caught on the colonial frontier where two great empires meet. Acadia has been handed back and forth between France and England at least six times. The treaties give it two names at once, Acadia or Nova Scotia. In 1713, France finally gives up Acadia to the English for good. 2,000 French subjects, peaceable farmers, live here. They are given a year to move elsewhere in New France. But most decide to stay. The English demand they must swear an oath of allegiance to their new king. The Acadians delay, then refuse. A delegate from Beaubassin explains why. While our ancestors were under English rule, such an oath was never required of them. Five years after the handover, Governor Richard Phillips is not optimistic. They will neither swear allegiance nor leave the country. With Newfoundland and Acadia now in English hands, France decides to make the most of its one remaining possession on the Atlantic coast, Ile Royale. France builds a huge fortress at Louisbourg. It soon becomes the center of French military and commercial power in the North Atlantic and earns the hatred of the English in Boston. In Nova Scotia, another irritant. Some Acadians begin plotting against the English, inciting the Indians to rise up against them. As tension mounts, the oath becomes essential. To persuade the Acadians to agree, Phillips promises they will not have to bear arms. He says nothing of this to his superiors in London, nor is it mentioned in the oath. Je promets et jure sincèrement en foi de chrétien but Alexandre bourg bellumour a notary, witnesses the promise as it is made. We certify that His Excellency Sir Richard Phillips has promised the inhabitants of the Miner's Basin that they are exempted from the duty of bearing arms and waging war against the French and the savages, and that the said French have agreed and promised never to bear arms against the English crown. Phillips only tells London that he has obtained the complete submission of a people who have been obstinate for so long. The Acadians believe they have found a way to preserve their religion and way of life. From 1730 on, the English colonists call them French neutrals. But the governor's compromise will have terrible consequences.